All right, and then let's go to, uh, you've already sort of brought it up, economic development, the downtown redevelopment project. Uh, I mean, the latest is Eclipse Development, a California-based developer who developed, I think it's a shopping center called North Haven Commons over in North Haven. They have come to the table and are apparently about to buy the Life Touch property. The closing, when that's going to happen, it has been up well, in the air. We investigated that, and as of yesterday, there was no uh, firm commitment to buy the Life Touch. Now, redevelopment derby, you have to realize that it goes back almost 50 years. It started almost 50 years ago, and over the course of many administrations, both Democratic and Republican, things have not gone well. Okay, and let, let me just interrupt, because one thing I wanted to just, you had said that there was no firm commitment. Right. Because I had talked to Doug Gray after the last redevelopment meeting, and he said they're trying to arrange a closing date to, uh, between Life Touch and Eclipse, and that that could happen at any moment, or it could be pushed to January. Yes. Is that, have, you, have you heard that same? Uh, I was at that meeting. When, uh, it well, was this mentioned. was afterward when he, he but, talked uh, to the reporters uh, I, for like I also a half hour. heard that, yes. Okay. And but you're, you're doubting whether that's even true? or Well, I'm doubting if it will happen. Okay. Okay. Now, the point I make about redevelopment in Derby, it seems like every two years when there's an election, there comes up a new proposal. And unfortunately, the business person that or people down in that area are suffering the most. We have to take care of the businesses that we do have in town first in that area. They've been uh, in litigation for years and years. I spoke to one person uh, who owns a business in that area and he has spent tens, tens of thousands of dollars in legal fees and nothing is being done. What we propose is, first of all, let's get our cards in a row. We want to make sure that the people that own property down there are adequately compensated. We need to uh, acquire the property because as of now, uh, there are, I believe, eight parcels down there that are still owned privately. And in order to get something done down there, what you have to do is buy them out or uh, go to eminent domain, which we do not want to see. But we need to acquire that land. Shouldn't that be the developer, though? Shouldn't well, he go and try to negotiate and give the, and give people a, well, some money as opposed to... Well, let me ask you, what happens if they don't agree to that? Then who has to do the eminent domain? It's not the developer, it's mm -hmm. the city. And Isn't that sort of... Isn't that going to happen down there eventually? That seems where it's heading. Well, I would like to see it happen, but right now... But you're I, saying we should... There, there should be yeah. more heart. There should be more uh, atten attention paid to the... To the yes, yeah, to down. the people that have been there for years and years. In fact, most people don't realize that uh, uh, the former developer, Saruzzi, still owns two parcels of land down there. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. probably not in the mood to Yeah, cooperate. and there are other people down there that are very happy about what's going on. So we need to sit down with those people also. Do you think, now, and I'm playing devil now, well, these questions aren't necessarily, just, no, they're no, not, no, they're not necessarily right coming from my opinion. I'm not a columnist, you know, I'm not Go Bill O'Reilly or, or, or Rachel, whatever her name, Matto from, from MSNBC. But there is a, I've heard uh, comments that, you know, the, the, the businesses that are there, it's not like this thing has popped up overnight, that there's some who say those are standing in the way of redevelopment that, that that the you know their their needs are outweighed by the by the greater need of the community to see that redeveloped so well, i don't because it's so. sort of wasting on you know no, dying on the vine no, down they're there. not wasting time they have every right to uh want adequate compensation and one other item that needs to be addressed is that the state is coming through to redo 34 in that area and at that meeting, it was stated by the developer that he would not start unless... There's got to be coordination yeah, between yeah, the two. Yeah, definitely. And how long it will take the state to redo 34 is another question mark. I mean, there's a lot of question marks out there. 
It just can't be, oh, we're going to do this. I, I've heard uh, people say, well, this store is interested, that store is interested. But I haven't seen any firm commitments from anyone or any uh, company whatsoever. There, there's apparently, there's not even pre-lease agreements. No, there's not. Understand. And in this economy, there may not be. And that's, yeah, that's what this all hinges on. It's yes, it the is. Economy. Yeah, oh, definitely. So let's say, okay, so they're making efforts that, you know, Route 34, the, the state is talking about widening it. Uh, they, they came in, and, and Valley Cog uh, has some pretty detailed plans. And they seem, I and mean, that's sort of a third party there, they, they seem to be convinced that this is going to happen. Well, I sat down with uh, Mr. Dunn last February and went through the entire scenario what they plan to does it look do. like a good i mean that re 34 thing does it i mean it's a positive it does happen oh yes yeah i mean if you've gone down through uh main street derby uh, at 435 o'clock it's, it, yeah it's, it's, it's horrible it's terrible um uh, their proposal for the viewer or the listener here is to make uh, two lanes either way both ways so they're going to have to acquire some property other than what's in the redevelopment so uh, the Oliver buildings, that needs to be acquired, and then it has to go further down onto the south side of Main Street. They will have two lanes going both ways, uh, a median divide in the middle, and some of the streets will be changed from two ways to one way. For instance, Caroline Street right now, Lower Caroline Street, the Cobblestone Hill, as everyone refers to it, is one way going down. And then the next street up, Minerva, would be one way going up to 3rd mm -hmm. Street. And then Elizabeth Street would be one way coming down. Now, do you think, I mean, you, you think that's a good thing for Derby, but you're doubting whether that'll... I, you mean the state project? Yes. I, I am very hopeful, I'm optimistic that it will happen, but within the time frame given, I don't know. Quite frankly, I don't know if it can be done. So is your is your point, I mean, because I think everybody, there's nobody who says we shouldn't redevelop uh, downtown Derby. Right? There's no, I don't think there's anybody who says. Well, there are a few people. Just there leave are, it as is? Uh, to make a park on it. I've heard that. To make a park okay. back there. Yeah. But that that's a hard sell to make. Oh, there's yes. No, there's no yes. revenue. There's oh, yeah, no, I agree I mean, with that. We need revenue coming in. But you're in saying there. it should be redeveloped. There's yes, you're not should. You're not one of those no, saying no, I'm not a, make it a park. No, not at all. But, you know... It, but, but are you saying that... And let me see if I can... Is your concern, or one of your concerns, is that the current administration is painting things with rose-colored glasses and not giving... Not, not detailing how difficult it yes. still is? Yes, okay. definitely. I, I think it's pre-election rhetoric, and they are doing their best to paint a rosy picture. 